Let's talk about muscular dystrophy today. Muscular dystrophy is an uh, degenerative condition genetically represented in multiple mutational changes coming in the different type of myofibril myofibril tubes. It's a blanket term actually, it's a blanket term. It covers a wide spectrum of 9 to 10 types of muscular dystrophies. Various types of genes are affected due to mutational changes or maybe genetic evolution carrying from one generation to another. The most common which is seen is Duchenne's muscular dystrophy that is because the protein called as dystrophin gene which is absent and a weaker form of it which is called as a Baker's muscular dystrophy that is BMD. One is DMD and BMD. DMD is a severe form of muscular dystrophy and BMD is a milder form of muscular dystrophy of the same one. Maybe a dystrophy gene is present but it is abnormal and the life expectancy for the DMD children who suffer from this starts presenting at the age of 2 to 3 years. Progressive, maybe the child doesn't complete his even 2 decades of life or max to max 2 25 years of his life. By the time the children comes in symptoms, they both the girdle dystrophies that is you can call the lower extremity and upper extremity, they start thinning out the muscles. It's of gene involved in the cell function of the myofibril we have different types of muscular dystrophies. The commonest which is seen in the children is Duchenne's muscular dystrophy and the second which is commonest is seen is the Baker's muscular dystrophy that is DMD. The di uh, muscular dystrophy starts at the age of around maybe adolescence 16-17 years of age which we call as limb girdle muscular dystrophy this is again a kind of 16 type of different genetic defects are found in the cell multiplication which leads to a kind of limb girdle. The muscles which are responsible for the girdles, upper girdle and lower girdle, they involve. But these kind of children, they continue their movement or mobility till the 40s and 50s of their age. Then, EDMD is one more where the uh, gene which is called as imerine is absent. Again a kind of gene which is responsible for the cell uh, myofibril tube multiplication. Likewise there are around uh, 9 type of different muscular dystrophies are there which is scapulofacial is there. Then myo, that myotonic muscular dystrophy is there. All these different dystrophies are under one umbrella of muscular dystrophy and all of them are because of the mutational changes in the gene. Now, if you look the signs and symptoms of this disease, usually the uh, Duchenne's muscular dystrophy starts the earliest age around 2 to 3 years. Baker's may be around the same age, but the progression is the disease is very different. Duchenne's is very progressive, Baker's is not as fast progressive as this one. It's a milder form as I said you earlier. Limb girdle presents at the adolescent age where the patient specifically involves the lower and upper girdles, the thinning of the muscles and uh, atrophic of the muscle, become, muscle becoming atrophy is very importantly noted and patient gait is affected, becomes a vandal gait and unable to walk or from getting of the chair also becomes impossible for the children. They may complete their life cycle up to 40 to 50 years of age. Now when we look at the treatment part of these diseases, this therapeutically in present conventional treatment there is a limitation, very much limitation. People have started to share the, use the steroid to some extent to delay the disease, but the disease remains a progressive. To the extent by the time the patient child becomes in Duchenne's muscular dystrophy adolescency, it becomes a bedridden absolutely. Now, the recent modalities which you have come up are the stem cell therapies. There is bone marrow concentrate or bone marrow derived stem cells and adipose derived stem cells, mesenchymal stem cells along with the healing factors from the PRP and with the allied treatments, a lot of their allied treatments are used which can be helping the delay or deterioration or degeneration of the cells is delayed. Now with this kind of treatments we can improve the quality of life 
by giving these cells at neuromuscular junction as well as into the uh, epidural spaces where the nerve degenerations are noted as well as the myofibrils are helped by fusion technology to increase their lifespan or otherwise the healing factors which are released there they also maintain the lifespan of the myotubules for longer time and the muscle tone can be achieved. There are certain more of, more methods are there which can be used particularly there it could be a peptides which are developed having the same range of dystrophy gene with amino acid sequence ATGC. They also can be utilized in these cases. So the muscle girth and muscle mass can be achieved and the quality of lifestyle of the boys can be improved. The child which becomes bedridden at the age of 15 to 20 years could be extending the life more than 40 years or up to 35-40 years. Keeping their ADL, ADL what we call the daily activities or living which are concerned, they can be maintained. These are the newer therapies which can think of giving in these children and give a quality of life to this suffering of uh, Duchenne's muscular dystrophy or different kind of muscular dystrophies. Thank you.